Hi, we're ready to complete our table runner project and I am now ready to show you how to um, fold over the binding and sew it down. This is not my preferred method, but this is the method I'm going to show you. You may need to go back and do a portion of it by hand if you do not catch it all. So I've folded over my binding over the edge and again I've got a very more of a fourth inch or a generous fourth inch of binding on this side and a generous half inch on this side and there's a reason for that because I'm doing what's called stitching in the ditch and I will include a picture of this but I am sewing right where the binding meets uh, your tabletop, your quilt top. And I can tell by the uh, sound of the machine when I'm right in, we call this stitching in the ditch, when I'm right in the ditch. Oh, see there I went, it sounded different. I went a little too much into the binding. But I want to make sure this is folded over well so that I'm catching it on the back side. I'm to a seam. I'm going to have to give it a little pull because it's very thick there. Again, I'm to another seam. Trying to stay in, in that ditch. Sewing in the ditches is, is a way to hide your stitches. Now, I prefer to do binding by hand. I just thought you might prefer this way. But if you have too much trouble with it, we'll do it by hand. Okay, I got to the corner, I'm going to pivot stitch, and I'm going to sew back around to where I started. My goal is to catch my binding on the back, and I've done that so far successfully. Once I have reached um, the point where I started, then this is done, and your congratulations, your quilt runner, tabletop runner is done it's completed and I will tell you in the module how to submit uh, your final results for a grade well done